A Cumberland family thinks their French bulldog was attacked by a bobcat last week. 12 News reporter Leah Crowley is in Cumberland now with more. Leah. The sounds of the attack that happened in this Cumberland neighborhood were captured on a ring camera. The attack happened around 830 at night at this home on Bork Road. I let all three dogs out at the same time and they all kind of were barking. Amy McCormick went outside to see what was going on and could hear the growling. And Varley came back. Jackie came back and Frank came back and Frank was had a lot of wounds and was bleeding. Amy told her daughter Elizabeth about the attack and she rushed home to take Frank to the vet. He had to get at least four or five staples. He has about like seven or eight puncture wounds. A couple days later, Frank was back to his old self, unfazed by his brush with a bobcat or whatever wild animal he encountered in the backyard. He's a tough guy. He's, he's been through a lot, so. Yeah, this is not yeah. for Frank. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he wants more. He keeps going back over there, looking for him, sniffing around. The family's neighbors say they recently spotted a bobcat in the area. These pictures were captured in Cumberland in November. According to the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management, bobcats usually keep to themselves and pose no threat to people. It was an unfortunate um, meeting. Right. The bobcat just happened to be walking through our yard at right. the time the dogs went out. It wasn't, uh, I don't have any ill will towards a wild animal. Now, Frank and his siblings don't go outside at night without a leash, making sure Frank doesn't get the rematch he keeps looking for. Sharing sightings of wild animals like bobcats with the DEM can help them better understand Rhode Island's wildlife populations. You can find the link to report those sightings right now on WPRI.com. In Cumberland, I'm Leah Crowley, 12 News.